Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we'll be doing a thermosensitive phone case. So, so this is gonna be a phone case video. So here is an old phone case with a cactus and I removed it with a special nail polish remover. So this is not the regular kind, it's the kind that removes artificial nails and it's a bit better with plastic so it doesn't destroy it or make it smudgy like a regular nail polish remover. Um, so yeah, it's done a pretty good job since I've done the project on this case. And we have a bit of glitter and contouring left over, but I think we can go over it pretty nicely so we won't be able to notice it. So I have here Thermo Nail Polish in red and pink. Awesome for artificial nails and DIY projects. So this changes color if it's cold or hot and it has a really cool effect. This one is pink to start with and if warmer it's a lighter pink shade so it turns lighter with temperature and this one goes from black to red, dark red into light red. So I'll show you. It's really dark here but it turns much lighter when it's warm. I will do the whole phone case and let it dry well before I touch it so that I don't destroy it. I did some hearts too, so I did a thick layer and now it needs to dry for a while, so it's best if you just leave it overnight or 24 hours. And now this is dried, so it's completely dry, but when we are on the phone for a long time or hold it in our hand for a really long time, um, you can notice the effect, so you can notice how much darker it actually gets. And yeah, it turns pretty light, I hope you can notice, so it's both on the heart and here on the bottom. I do have to say I pressed too hard here and took a bit of nail polish off, so maybe it's not that perfectly dried. Um, make sure you just leave them long enough before you actually try to rub them or use them or warm them up. So my two thermal nail polishes are indeed awesome, there are of course other colors you can use. Um, I got my online, so it's maybe best if you just Google those or just find them on any search engine and see which color you like. Um, I personally like red and pink, so that's why I did that, but feel free to check them out online. They're pretty awesome to play with and do projects with. Um, I would always recommend playing with them, yeah. So here is another foam case. Um, I already used this, so you can probably remember, I did this with golden details, so you can still notice here permanent marker bits, but I will today do a design with mer a mermaid theme, so I have here some um, stickers for that, so let me show you those. Uh, these are like 3D stickers, like um, fins, fish fins on, or mermaid fins. And I will use glitter glue that you can see here, pink, purple, um, yeah, also golden and blue. And I did already use these, so I can say it works awesome with slime. So let's now get to this project. I have a whole bag of, with all kinds of stuff. So we have unicorns here, mermaid fins, some dolphins, I've even noticed some cows in here. And I got this from Amazon too. So now I will see how I'm gonna glue these on here. I'm still not sure how many and which way, so I have to try it out a bit. So these are all awesome, I'm not sure which one of these I'm actually gonna choose, so let's see.
so here is the glitter glue. I did kind of like the color overflow, so I hope you like the swirls too. So now we need to let this dry a bit and then we can see the final result. So here is my phone case. I waited 24 hours and everything is glittery and shiny now, holding onto the plastic pretty well. And it's also good to hold in the hand. Um, it doesn't bother me while I'm holding it and it kind of prevents slipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.